stands at the very pivot of democracy of this country. Yes. We cannot be a democratic country without IABC. This is the organization, this is the institution that brings sanity to all the shenanigans that we bring from this side and this other side. This is an umpire of both political divides. Mm -hmm. So therefore, it cannot be anything that people want to joke around with. And what parliament saw and deemed important to do mm -hmm is to even enrich the panel, the panel that is going to be constituting the IABC commissioners mm -hmm. and the IABC commission as a whole, to even include more people so that we have better representation, so that uh, people like uh, the Law Society of Kenya are represented, you know, the religious uh, arm or, or the religious uh, group which represents practically everybody in this country because we all belong to one religious group or fo formation or the other, are represented. I, I think the more inclusive that process is, the better. Because it forms the very central cog in the machine that is called democracy in our country. Mm -hmm. And I think this is an improvement by far of anything that has been in the past. It is an improvement of what was before the new constitution and an improvement of what the new constitution has done and an improvement of what we had seen in the last dispensation. Mm -hmm. So I think the way this thing has been formed, people may want to make noise here and there, but everybody knows mm -hmm. that the more, the merrier. Mm -hmm. And now this, uh, 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 the way we have formed the, the selection panel yes. is more inclusive than it has ever been. The only way we can do is make it even more inclusive. Mm -hmm. And we would want to hear people who are opposed to what we are doing, even bring more uh, ideas of, of how to make it more inclusive mm -hmm. in terms of, of representation of all interest groups. Uh, it's that, at that point, I want us to listen to Moshima Opio Wandai, his remarks regarding the reconstitution of the IEBC. Uh, let's listen in to the minority leader in the National Assembly. The terms of reference of those of, of that committee were so clear. Now understand that some people are pushing for the reconstitution of the IBC through an IBC selection panel that is now for all intents and purposes moribund. And our point is this. In summary, really, any attempt to reconstitute the IEBC out or outside the framework that has been established by NABICO will be totally resisted. And if they go ahead and reconstitute the IEBC outside the NABICO framework, then that will only be an IBC for Kenya Kwanza. It will not be an IBC for Kenya. That even 450 billion shillings, which is less than 10% of a national budget, which is more than 3 trillion, they cannot be able to send that money. So even in education, when Ruto says that uh, there's going to be money coming to the schools, that's a big lie, and uh, one day you're right. Yeah? I mean, a, a liar should have a good memory. If you, are, if you want to be a good liar, <laughs> you should have a good memory. Unfortunately, President Ruto does not have a good memory. Yeah? He tells a lie today, and he forgets that he lied yesterday and tells you another lie. Mashima, your reaction to the concerns raised, especially about the listening to the two leaders? Uh, I, I choose not to respond to Honorable Orengo. Mm. He is a governor and uh, he belongs to the Senate. Those are the people who deal with the local leaders, like uh, Honorable Orengo. Mm. But uh, what I would say regarding uh, the sentiments by Honorable Opio mm. Mandai mm -hmm. is that it's a shame. It's a shame to Parliament. 
How? He should even resign Why? as a minority leader. Mm -hmm. Because by the mandate of the Constitution, the people with the responsibility of making laws for this country mm -hmm. is parliament. Mm -hmm. You cannot, as a sitting minority leader, person who forms the leadership of the house, mm -hmm. remove and be part of the people who are usurping the powers of parliament to make laws and donate them to NATCO. People who sit in Bomas who are not elected by anybody. They represent nobody. Kalonzo Musioka does, is not a representative of the people. He has not been elected by anybody. The people who are elected by Wanjiku sit in the National Assembly. And that is the mandate that is given by the Constitution that we passed in 2010. And we said that this is an organize, is an institution that forms the three arms of government mm -hmm. that shall make decisions that regard to making and deciding about the laws mm -hmm. of this country. When a person who sits in the leadership of parliament sits and says that they would want parliament ignored or not to listen to at the expense of parliament, an institution established by law, by the constitution of this country, people who are elected, including himself, by the people that he represents to come to parliament and make laws. And you donate that power to people who formed themselves during Mandamano at a place in a hotel somewhere and said, okay, now these ones are, are, are the people now who are going to talk for us on behalf of us at a place, do you know by the way, Bomas is a place for circus. I don't know if you know that Bombers was made actually as a place for entertainment. Mm -hmm.